I'm going to share a few tips and tricks about mining. If you're playing a harmless mode or trying to live a real life in um, survival craft, you need to mine to get the precious minerals like copper, iron and diamond etc. for your survival. So today I am going to share a few tricks and tips before you mine. First thing first, so here. Oh, I think this music is very disturbing. Okay. Condense, sorry. Help. So. These are the ores available for us, coal, copper, iron, sulfur, diamond, germanium, sulfate, okay, iron stone, so these are these things that all, okay, so first of all, we should study in among which type of rock these ores are found so for example if you are searching for coal you should read it, that is see the the coal ore is a vein of coal embedded in granite rocks so you should search among granite to find coal or you can simply find it understand it from this texture of this coal ore that is some coal embedded on a granite rock similarly copper is also found among granite and it is not found as easy as coal that is coal is usually found above the uh, surface itself or just around five or six blocks down but copper is found deeper near the boundary of basalt rock and then iron first of all let me say copper is very important that is for making all electric equipments from simple wire to pistons i think yes for simple piston i think there is copper needed so copper is very important and even for bucket without bucket we cannot collect water or magma nor you cannot nor you can prepare that uh, bread from the floor so the next is iron and is very useful for making weapons and it is not that important as copper for survival then sulfate as is all used for sulfur is used for uh, burning it is then powder or matchsticks etc and you should understand that see this iron ore is embedded between basalt ox there is from this texture this picture itself you can understand that it's among basalt rock similarly sulfur also and diamond diamond is found very deep under the ground and you should be very careful that without a minimum of i think a, iron pickaxe I think I don't remember very well anyway you should try to use an iron pickaxe to mine or uh, diamond ore otherwise it will be lost and this is in Germany is used for circuits that is our logic gates and all and sulfate is also and a very good oxidizing agent that is for gunpowder and also very fat uh, very good fertilizer it is you can use it uh, for farming especially for very crops which need very fertile land like ray okay then you can see here some tips about each or Okay. 
that's all and the next thing you should know is magma is also found underground let's see what they have to say about magma description sorry they are not talking anything about magma here anyway see for making bucket you need copper and that's why I said copper is more important than iron so that's all what mining in the beginning now we are going to discuss something more before that let's see you need to mine to obtain resources needed for crafting and smelting mining can be used to symbol digging in random places with your bare hand that is in survival craft you cannot understand we cannot uh, there is no way of getting an place that is uh, rich in the um, the ore you are searching for for example if you are searching for copper you will not you never know where this copper is found you on, the only thing you know is you have to go deep underground there is no tools for uh, locating this or from above the ground so it's all a guesswork and usually if you find an hour of something then usually you will find the thing around that place itself so if you find one copper you should try digging around it and you will be lucky enough to find more of this copper or any other ore you are searching okay ah, the thing. yes here they are saying Mm. Caves are a good starting point because they show you a large cross section through the terrain for free. But but you should know that you see this caves usually hold some dangers for you. So we'll discuss it now. So we can conclude. Tip number one: Understand the ores. You specifically have to understand each ore, where to find them, and what you can obtain from those. Also, understand if those ores need any special tools to mine successfully. Okay, I have a world generated here, so I will be discussing about different type of different ways for mining. First of all, usually people like to mine inside these caves, but the problem is the caves are usually the houses of animals see you can get coal from above the ground itself usually inside this case but if you are trying to get inside a cave you should carry some torch because if you are not having any light inside then you will fall in pits like this see oh my god this is a very Lucky place that is you see already there is one mine here and you are lucky to get malachite that is copper over here so you can dig further through it and obtain this copper so these places are good for starting mining that is simply get inside a cave and search for any ore and if you are lucky to find anything then start digging from there 
and you will start finding more of these ores. That's tip number one. Start inside a cave if possible, but caution that is you should carry some light source in your hand. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for you to venture through these caves. Okay. See, these are the other problems of cave. Here, usually the harm of dangerous predators. And if you are playing in harmless mode, you won't have any trouble playing this because until you hurt them, they will not hurt you. But if you are playing in challenging or cruel mode, and you are dead for sure if you are unequipped with the armor and the danger while mining inside the caves is that you will not know what is above that cave here you can see this sand and if you are not very careful I will show you ok for example if someone comes here and finds some for example if this this uh, sandstone in front of me had sulfur so sulfate then probably you will go and mine it like this and see you will be trapped inside it another example okay you are digging here no problem then but you are digging here see the whole mountain falls above you and you will be trapped inside and if you tra are getting trapped between this you can simply dig out but if you are simply falling below it then you will you will be dead for sure okay i forgot to turn off this weather effects now it's thunder and lightning etc so like this you can reach larger depths without having to mine if you have enough ladder and torch you can get precious resources like this itself see this is a very lucky place it's a good place for mining see most of these ores that I thought it will be difficult to get is available here and still it's going deep to this bedrock so this is bedrock you will not be able to mine this dig through this see that's about mining inside a cave my god now i'll have to reach for this outside oh my god i think i am trapped inside okay see diamond let me show you iron okay most of the source are available here this is a very lucky place so i'm telling you i didn't prepare this like this i never knew it will be like this so that's about mining inside a cave so we can conclude tip number two start inside caves Caves are the best place to start from as they give you a view of large area of cross section for free. You may be lucky to find many minerals even without mining a single blast. Caution: Caves have a lot of wild predators so be prepared for it. Also, don't go far without light or you will fall into a death. Take care that the rope don't collapse on you.